Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how you can import multiple sheets in Laravel. And I have already created the to import a file in Laravel. So you can also go and watch that video. So now let's get started with today's video. So I have created this view where you can see we can upload one file. Now let me show you database. So here you can see I'm having one table task and also task comments. So now let me show you Excel sheet that I'm going to upload. So you can see task and task comments. Now let me show you code. In web to php you can see base URL is going to file controller, index function and in this view is code. So view is import. Here you can just uh, find out the form that to upload a file and this one is submitted using javascript so here you can see using ajax i have submitted and it's going to save upload form so save upload form is going to file controller save upload form function only so here in this function i'm going to write code for import so here in this example three imports will be created one for task one for task commands and one for multiple sheets let's create import so at php are is make import and first one i'm going to import task multiple import after that let's create task import and with the model i'm going to pass that is task so now let's create third one so here it will be task comment import with model task comment uh, i think model i have not created so let me just create model quickly so new terminal and here write php in make model task comments so now let's get back to previous terminal so in previous terminal for model here i'll be passing task comments so now let me show you all imports here you can see task import then uh, task import here you can see model function is there and in task multiple import here collection is there as i have not defined any models so for multiple here we will be using with multiple sheets we are not using with collection here so i'm just going to remove with collection and add with multiple sheets and also remove collection function we will be adding sheets function here so in sheets function i'll be returning one array so inside this array you can see i'm having one task and one task command so here firstly i'll be writing as a key task and this one will be you know holding instance of new task import and second key that will be task command and that will be holding instance of task command import so now with this in a one sheet task it will be having two worksheets one is task and another is task comments so that in task import here we will be defining you can see task or uh, new task is sent as a response and inside that i'll be sending just title and description of uh, a task so these two i'm be sending from task import and second import that i'll be doing is task command so here you can see table so now let's go to task comment import and here right first one will be task id and second will be comments row comment and task id i'll be getting from task table so let's uh, get the title of the task so for that write task find so let me use where then title and in this title pass row and task this will be sending title from sheet that i've shown and let's hold this in a variable and let's get the id with that so write task id and also import task so now let's just see the flow ones task multiple import here task import and task comment import and in task import one more thing i need to add is with heading row because in our sheet we are having headings so write with heading rows and same we will be doing in task comment import as well because both sheets are having headings so after form some math it will be redirecting to file controller save upload form so here let's get the file first so let's get request file and the uh, name of input field let's go to import.blade and uh, here it's having name upload file so we'll be getting this file using here and hold that in a variable upload file 
so using that cell we will be using import function and inside that first one is going to be new task or multiple import here instance and second parameter will be file so now let's check in browser select a file then submit there is one error property id does not exist this collection so let me just check once db nothing is inserted in task comments and also in task so in task comment i need to change get to first only as i need one entry so now submit and the preview you can see nothing is there so let's go to db browse so here you can see task is inserted and let's go to task comments here you can see with task id comments also inserted so that's how you can insert multiple sheets in laravel using laravel excel so i've shown you how you can import in laravel next what i'll be showing you is how you can export in laravel so that's all in this video if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel